Hello, it's me, Trina, the medical cannabis patient. Here I am in my urban jungle, going on an errand to get toilet paper. <clears throat> it has been a very stressful morning. Um, it's still morning time. Um, I'm having a lot of physical problems, which is causing mental distress as well. As I told you guys on previous videos, like in the series that I did for uh, menopause, I told you that <clears throat> I experienced some days where I was bleeding as if I'm on my moon time again. And that's happening again right now. And I think that's happening because of the stress level that I'm going through. And um, I read about this, so. It has been known to happen, so this isn't like a rarity or something, or I need to run to the hospital. Um, but nonetheless, it's very annoying right now. <clears throat> you know, because there's things that I need to get done, and I'm low, and I'm low in energy because I'm bleeding, losing blood, and um, just so many things feel like it was toppling on me this morning. <clears throat> I had gotten a donation from a really kind lady, Erin, uh, thank you, and I decided to, you know, get a check sent instead of depositing it direct, direct into the account, the bank account, because uh, as it was, our, our, our rent check hadn't cashed yet, so I didn't know, I thought maybe she should just send it to us as a check, and then it said that it will be here like three days, three to four days. <clears throat> well, when I went to go check, it, it said that the transaction is pending. And I read up and it said, oh, you might get it from one to two weeks from now. And so now I feel stupid because I probably should have just deposited it, transferred it right into my bank account, but I didn't. So now, now, you know, there's anger being thrown towards me, but you know, passive aggressive anger, like the, the Darth mouse that I'm wearing. Darth Vader, but a mouse at the same time. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. And then all of a sudden, because we've been trying to sell this vehicle that we had, this extra vehicle. If you didn't know, I, I talked about this on another moved in now what? that um, our van was, the van, original van that we had, the windshield was cracked and the transmission's not working that great. But you can sell it and somebody can work on it and fix it if they have the money for it. So, um, my husband put it up on Facebook Marketplace and he got one, uh, one person that was interested, seemed interested in it, but that woman didn't know English, and he tried to convert it to like Spanish, and, I mean Spanish to English type of deal, but for some reason that communication wasn't working. So then, you know, he goes, well maybe you can have this van, and it's like I don't even have a driver's license, I have a driving phobia, and even if I didn't have any of this shit going on with me, um, insurance for a new driver is insane and we've got a new car payment on a, a used vehicle we purchased not too or he purchased not too long ago you know so we're paying like a hundred and eleven dollars for insurance on, on this van that was just bought and plus a car payment of over $250, you know, and it's like, then if I were to get a driver's license and start driving the blue van, then <clears throat> that's more money. That's all it is, is more money. I thought that he would try to earnestly try to sell it more, 
I mean, work on selling it. And then today he decides he's going to work on selling it because the check didn't get transferred. The donation I got didn't get transferred. Go already. Just sit in the middle of everything. Look at how insensitive people are. Can you go already? She's a fucking ways. Anyway, um... <clears throat> yeah, so... Because... We got only so much in the bank account right now... <coughs> um... He's rushing to get up to go and sell the van. I mean... Joined two freaking bands, and that's why he didn't have time to sell the van because he's busy all the time. <clears throat> and then getting mad at me because getting mad at me because I'm not making enough money, or getting mad at me because or getting mad at me because we don't spend any time together. Why don't we spend any time together? Because you're in two bands and you work in a full-time job. You're always going to rehearsals. <clears throat> and when you do come home, you're grumpy. Unless you're you know, highly medicated or something. So yeah, decided to get out and go for a walk, cool my head, grab some toilet paper. have to cool my heels. I know that it's a small apartment we're living in with three adults, no longer a cat anymore. And that really tears me up still. But it's like I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's like this unspoken agreement that I never signed where well, I'm not supposed to talk about the passing of our cat Bart. When I don't talk about it, it feels like Oh, he just doesn't exist, or he never existed, or something. And I'm looked, made to look like the lunatic who's crying and sad and grieving him. He only died a few weeks ago, and then, so the reaction is like he's died. He's been gone several years or something, and I'm being overly sensitive about it. <clears throat> that wasn't ever said, but it just feels like that. Bart, wherever you are, I'm glad you're not here anymore because you can only absorb so much uh, negativity. You did a great job of what you tried to do, but you probably did too much, you know? I'm feeling like, Bart, you know, I feel like I'm absorbing so much negativity coming my way. And I'm doing my best, but it just feels like my best isn't good enough. It does. I feel like my best isn't good enough, you know, <clears throat> and it starts to really show when, when we're low on herb and people aren't as mellow as they usually would be, you know, and it's like, it was getting mad at me because I couldn't find the car payment, the, the pink slip, and I'm like, well, we've got all this, when we moved into this apartment complex, <clears throat> everything was done in a hurry everything was rushed Everything I was trying to do things neat and organized but no I get ran over and everything's just put just thrown in, thrown in a box and, and just get it out of here and so by the time we get here we don't even know where the fuck everything is you know it's just really fucking annoying and I needed to get out because I'm tired of somebody just act overreacting over everything. I know this is a really fucked up situation we're living in, but it's going to be more fucked up if you just are trying to claim that you're doing everything, I have to do everything, and then jumping in front of somebody and doing it for them if it's not to your specifications is not to your liking so you just take over get in front of somebody and take over and do all this shit and not give them a chance not give them a chance 
just don't. Just run all over you, talk over you when you're talking, so you don't understand where the person is coming from. No communication whatsoever. It's a one-sided situation, and I'm tired of it. I am very tired of it. It just has nothing to do with a man or whatever. It could be a woman. It could be anybody. It's just humans. Humans. Lack of communication skills is just astounding. And then I'm be told, well, I can't be perfect like you. I'm like, I am not fucking perfect, and I never said I was. Because if I was, I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be living in this situation. I wouldn't be living on this fucking planet. I wouldn't even be in a body if I'm perfect. The human body is not perfect. The human body is filled with many flaws. And the human psyche is getting filled with so much garbage, too. So, it has nothing to do with male or female. It has to do with, whoops, it has to do with the personality of the person. And that's all there is to it. So, but yeah, when I get in this heated type of mood, I need to get out away from the environment <clears throat> because I feel like I just make it even worse by, by having my energy there. <clears throat> I end up absorbing more and more negativity the longer that I'm sitting in this situation. So, getting outside and talking about it is the best alternative best thing to do other than you know sitting there and lashing out and having a heart attack because when I get angry my heart rate goes up really ridiculously high and I can't I can't stay in the midst of something I feel like it's gonna kill me seriously I'm that sensitive to all this shit <clears throat> and I'm just tired you know, I lost a freaking cat. <laughs> Going through menopause, I'm bleeding. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being disrespected. Just being disrespected. I mean, I've done nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. I haven't, so. <clears throat> it's exhausting. It's exhausting too because I really don't feel like going on a walk right now because I'm tired and I haven't been sleeping well. So, so yeah, I mean. Being somebody who is sensitive, who's an empath, um, feeling all this shit, feeling how somebody feels about you, it's it's very it's very unnerving, it's very disturbing, and it's very sickening and saddening to my heart. It is. So I mean, I did my best, and I know I'm not the person that you want me to be, or that you saw that I could be. But you're not my parent, and I'm not some. You're not somebody I have to make proud or anything. <clears throat> In the first place, uh, I never really had parents. I mean, I just had people who were living with me that were calling my parents by law. But I took care of myself <sighs> since I was a kid, all the way till now, and it's like. try to give people the utmost respect all the time and this is the shit that happens freaking out because you know my husband's freaking out because he can't find the pink slip because he's got we've got all this stuff in in these containers and boxes and stuff I don't know what's what and I said well relax let me help you he's just rushing through past me and stuff 
and I'm barely awake. <laughs> and it's like, I am done. I'm so done with feeling like this. I'm like messed up, menopause, bleeding and all that. Am I complaining? No, I'm not complaining because I can't. I can't talk about anything really because I'm the lucky one. I'm the one that gets to stay at home and I'm not working outside the home. How is that lucky? It's even worse because there's so many more expectations put on me. Yep. <clears throat> so that's why I moved in now what branch for the day. Um, I'm just tired of feeling like like someone thinks I'm a failure. That's what I'm tired of. And because this person has, you know, because this person has a full-time job outside of the house and they're a manager, they think they're better than me. That's what's well going on. I didn't want to say that, but it's what's going on. We're supposed to be working together as a team, not apart. And not trying to one-up each other like we're rivaling siblings or, so siblings, I mean. Like we're siblings or something. This is a partnership. It's marriage. It's not like comp competition all the time. And getting mad at the other person if they're not having enough, as much energy as you have. I don't drink coffee every day. So, that's maybe an edge that he has up on me. One up on me because he's got the caffeine going for him. I don't drink that stuff. Because it fucks my heart up. I did that a long time ago. I won't do it again. Um, makes my heart race really bad and uh, it's bad enough my heart's racing right now from being angry being angry for not being listened to being being feeling angry for being misunderstood feeling angry for not having help accepted when obviously you could use my help but no, oh, I get to do all this all by myself. Well, maybe you do. And I just need to step out of the fucking way, which I did eventually. I stepped out of the way. I didn't push myself on the situation. And I never do. I offer the help, and it's declined over and over again. My help is declined over and over again. And I thought that I was supposed to help you know, being in this kind of relationship, but not in this one. So, it's not like I'm trying to change anybody. I'm just trying to help. I thought that's what a partnership was about. It's about helping each other out. Helping each other out when we need help. But it's a one-sided bullshit type of deal here. And I'm tired of it. I am. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of closing my mouth. I try to be all nice and shit all the time. And there's some storming out of the... I said I had to go. I need to get out of here. I'm feeling a little angry. Go for a walk. And all of a sudden, he storms out in front of me. I can barely get out of there. Almost falling fucking over. It's like, whatever. I'm tired of it. This childish behavior is just annoying. And I'm done with it. Please donate to my channel. Through my PayPal. Google Pay or Cash App so I can get the fuck out of here. This is no way for me to live. Just getting glimpses of nature here and there to make me smile. It's just piecemeal shit that it's just not enough. And I need to get out of here. Somewhere that's this safe and not so angry. So much violence. I'm tired of it. I'm not a violent person. But this place is making me feel like I don't want to feel. You know what I mean. Yeah, please donate to my channel. If you do donate to my channel, I'll give you a free uh, homemade gift. Um, I'll create a video based on a topic of your choosing. Just about any topic I'll, choose, I'll, I'll do a video for if you donate to my channel. So, greatest blessings to y'all. Thanks for listening. And I will see you soon.